Thank you for joining me for another Quick Hits Conversation. Today, I would like to talk about the differences or similarities between improving yourself and proving yourself. Tim, I'd like you to go first. Okay, once again, Robin, your Quick Hits Conversation delivers a subject that makes me have to do prep work. So, <laughs> I, I, so this often I come up with this. This comes down in my mind to something around internal, external. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's lots of stuff around this subject, but I think my immediate thought is, well, if we are proving, our, uh, proving ourselves, that means we're, uh, we're proving ourselves to others. Well, actually, it's starting to fall apart now. Are we proving ourselves to ourselves? Uh, so, but even so, it's a sort of it's an outward act, isn't it? A demonstration of some form. Mm -hmm. Proving myself to you might be doing quick maths. It might be lifting up a heavy rock. It might be solving a complex issue, cooking a meal. I don't know. Uh, and I guess what it is is interesting in itself. Mm. Improving yourself is more about what am I doing internally to make myself better as a person? So I want to start or I would start in the is it is there an internal external storyline here? Okay. I would agree with that because when I when you sent this out, the, the two words I wrote down literally were improving yourself was internal and, and proving yourself was external. I kind of used a, a golf analogy where, or even rock climbing, but if you're improving yourself, you're kind of by yourself out on the driving range and, and it's really about you, but you go out on the course and you, people see you, you post a score, it's, it is an external piece. But I, I think, Tim, as you mentioned, there is, even on the proving yourself, there is an internal part where it is about you. And certainly as you're out proving yourself, Hopefully you're learning from what you're doing and then therefore leads, it's almost circular that it leads back to helping improve yourself. Hmm. <laughs> I'm saying that I went to the same place, internal and external. So where I found a difference though, is that in improving yourself, I couldn't find anything negative. Whereas improving yourself, it can be a positive thing, but it actually can be a really harmful thing too. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was the differentiator that one can almost never do harm to improve yourself, but you can do harm when you're trying to prove yourself in certain situations. So, yeah, and I think what Bill said is a really good point. You know, we um, improve ourselves on the driving range and then we prove ourselves in competition. And I, I, so I like that as, a, as an analogy. And I think there's, a, but there's an element in here of, is there a journey? Do, so if we prove us, if we're trying to prove ourselves without having done the improvement, uh, is it because we've got we, we're just trying to blow off is it we're trying to impress we don't know do we need to do some self-improvement first to be able to I, I don't know to be able to prove ourselves as in if you if the more in my mind the more self-improvement you do the less proving you need to do of yourself to others or yourself but is having to prove yourself a sense of inadequacy absolutely yeah no, having to prove yourself is an absolute necessity you have to prove yourself in, in a relationship that you are going to be loyal and honest and kind. You have to prove yourself in a, in a company that you have capabilities to accomplish the jobs they're laying out for you. I don't mean it has to be arduous or horrible, but it's not necessarily negative. Hmm. So, uh, okay, so I, I, when you sort of said no, Kristen, I'm like, oh, I don't agree with that. And as you've explained it, I've gone, ooh, interesting. So, so I mean, if I'm naturally a trustworthy person and I don't go out to prove myself as being trustworthy, I just take it as read. You know, there I am. I am trustworthy. I'm not saying I'm or not, just using an example. But if you prove that, well, sorry, if you if you are a trustworthy person, you don't need to prove it. You just are. Hmm. Do you? Well, I mean, you still have to somehow from an from an external standpoint, people have to understand and sense that i can say i'm a trustworthy person i still have to go out and prove it to those individuals right or did i m miss what you're what you were saying well i guess it, i guess the question then lies in is proving something about them or you and I, and robin's intimates that and if you need to prove yourself is it an insecurity well actually if i feel the need to prove myself to you bill that i'm some i am x uh, that actually says more about what i feel about x than it does about what you want to see about x but that's, that, that's negating, if I take a course to learn something, then I take a test to prove that I've learned it. That, you know, I'm not proving it 
you're saying, well, if you do it, if you know it, you don't have to prove it. But there are times where you do have to prove it. I think that the word proof here, has, the proving of something has two different meanings. I think we're, we've come across another English word that's used two subtly different ways. One is to prove that you've learned something, like to your point, Kristen, you've taken a test. The other is to prove you're tough or prove that you've got something or, you know, that what whatever that is, that that proof of I'm this. And someone says, you know, I guess in Back to the Future, it's, oh, are you chicken? Oh, I can prove I'm not chicken. I think there, I think those are two different kinds of ways of using the word prove. Well, I actually think that they're just the fact that, that proving can be positive or negative. Mm. I'm trying to prove something, to seek approval from somebody, which I shouldn't be seeking their approval, that can be negative. But if I'm trying to prove something like the accomplishments I have, I'm not sure that that's negative. Well, I guess, it, mm, so I, I'm, I don't know whether this is a pushback or not, I don't know, but let's say you talk about learning a skill or whatever, and let's say I went and learned French, and then I learned French, and I went to France and spoke French. Am I, by speaking it, proving to French people that I've spoke, that I've learned it, or is it just something that's happening? You could look at that as your own self-improvement that you're using and accessing. Now, if you want to be able to say on your resume that you are fluent in French, there's probably going to be a level of having to prove that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. So, okay, so if I put, I was good, sorry, Bill, if I put, okay. I was good at karate on my resume, but wasn't, I mean, if I was really good, and I was a black belt, or maybe it doesn't, is it black belt and karate? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so if you were a black belt and I was, I, there'd be nothing to prove. I would be. Now, if I had lied, then I, then there would be something to prove, right? Well, I mean, I, I guess assuming we found out that you lied. I mean, I guess that's the point about how, how do you know that? I mean, if you say something, then how do you prove it? So, I, you know, and I don't, I guess part of what I was also thinking and just, you know, you talk about consultants and it's like, well, let's go get all these degrees. It's improving me. You still have to prove yourself when you, when you work with people. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I, I know I'm kind of digressing here, but I'm, I'm still going back to Kristen. I, I guess a question for you is when you say proving is a negative um, can you help me with an example? I, mean, I, I can kind of see some in my head, but where, where, were you, where were you thinking that would take you in terms of the negative side of that? Well, I think if you're trying to prove yourself to somebody, to prove your worthiness, to prove something that, to be approved of or to be accepted, I think that that can go into an ugly negative place. Okay. Um, it, and that's what I meant. I mean, but you can also prove yourself in a positive way through accreditation, through accomplishment, through... Uh, active engagement through recommendations you're those people are proving that you had value in this field that you went into or this skill that you were trying to you prove yourself when you win a race i mean obviously you worked your way to improve yourself to be able to run that race but you prove it when you win it or do well right yeah and i think that's where i was you know robin when you would ask the question it was more about when you, you know proving yourself i mean it's really we say it's external because you're you're kind of showing people, but I mean, you can prove something to yourself and nobody ever knows about it, but it's it's important to you. Um, and you know, I go climb, a, you know, I go climb up a mountain and nobody sees it. It's still to me. I I, I did that activity and that was really important to me and that helps me. Um, and that makes I me just, think about the the thing on social media. You say pictures or it didn't happen. Yes. <laughs> You know, so, so I, this has led me into a place which, of which I'm quite I have a strong feelings about that might, I don't know, might create some emotion. I don't know. But if somebody, uh, you know, you say prove yourself by getting qualifications and all this sort of stuff, I'm not in the slightest bit interested in that. Well, well, I might want a doctor to be well qualified. I get that. You know, I don't want a doctor to sort of say, oh, I read a book. Or I, I went on Dr. Google and came up with an answer. But if somebody came up to me and sort of said, so I think this, we need to take this with a slight, uh, you know, uh, open-mindedness. But if somebody comes to me and said, oh, I've got an MBA and an MSc and this, and I'd be like, well, so what? That, that's not proof to me. But I, agree proof. I agree with you. Actually, I agree with everything everybody said. That there's so, But you're just outlining what I initially said was there's a negative side to having to prove yourself. Right. And I agree that 
that all of that that you are counting on is negative, but I also think it can be positive. Whereas I think self-improvement is always positive. So I'm gonna have to cut us off there, you guys. That's 10 minutes. I'm so sorry, such a great conversation. And I look forward to having another one with you again soon.